Hi, Ed Akerst here again, and we are doing Friend Connector training. And in this particular video, we're going to talk about actually putting those friend requests out. So I'm in a group on Facebook. I'm at the members page, and I've clicked the friend request, uh, friend connector button to do my friend requests. And we've got this page. Now, if you're not on this page and it says, oops, wrong page, but you know you're in a member section, just refresh that, that page. And then, and then hit your friend connector button again and you'll be fine. So what we wanna do, we need to do an interval, a limit, whether we're resuming or not, the keywords and the message groups. Now keywords I've already covered in another video, so we've got those there. And again, if you're in a group where everybody's relevant to what you're doing, you can just leave the keywords blank. You do not need them. Uh, and then message groups, I only have one in here. We discussed that in another video. This is the one that we created in that other video. Now, normally you want to do a high limit here, okay? Even 15 minutes, maybe. Um, I usually do between five and 10. If you do 10 minutes, it sounds like a long time between requests, but Facebook doesn't like to see a whole lot of them all at once. It, they, they go, wait a minute, what's going on? Something's happened here, somebody's getting spammed. And, and they can lock you out from doing friend requests for a day, two days a week, I've seen even. Um, I've never had it happen, but I'm very careful and conservative with it, okay? Uh, 10 minutes, think about that for a minute. If you run this 24 seven in the background in a, in a window of its own, um, if you do it every 10 minutes, you put a request that's six an hour, 24 hours in a day, that's 144 requests in a day. Let it run for seven days, that's 1,008 requests in a week. Um, you know, it, it, it will grow. You will see growing and you'll have these targeted people getting added. Um, you can click infinite and it'll just keep running until you tell it to stop. Uh, you can, maybe you don't want to run it too much at once. You could say, let's just do, you know, 50 requests. Um, I am going to do a limited one on this one. I'm going to do, uh, actually, I'm only going to do five. And I'm going to do this auto between 15 and 18 seconds. Never, ever do that. I'm only using that for this training video. So we can speed this up and I can show you what's happening. If you've been in a group, like this group here is 16,409 members at the moment. Uh, maybe I've run through and I know, and you'll see where you get these numbers from momentarily. Maybe I know I've done 250. I could say, yeah, let's start um, at, you know, the last one that I ran was, was member number 250. And you could start from there. Um, I'm not going to resume this from the last start. We're just going to start from the beginning. But I am only going to keep it to five because I'm going to run this really fast just so you can see it. And then click run. And what you'll see is it numbers these, okay? and Actually, it does know, I've already put a request on, I guess, because it's here. I'm not sure. Oh, I see why. It skipped these. See how it skipped all of these? They don't have the keywords, right? The first one that had the keyword was number 29, Carlos Avilles. Avilles? I don't know. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. And it brought his page up, and now it's going to add the message. It's randomized the different things, and it's going to send a message out to him, and then it's going to go one to the next one. And... It sent a request from there. That one's done. Now it's doing the second one, Philip Smith. Now it's going to do a message to him. It's going to, again, pick one of the four greetings, one of the four intros, and then static text at the end if you saw our uh, video that we did on messaging. And it's going down. It's going to go down for a while because we don't have keywords. So see, it went all the way down to there. I'm getting these targeted requests only because it's gonna skip anybody that doesn't have my keywords. Now, if I didn't add any keywords, you know, this guy's a CEO, so it's gonna add them. If I didn't add any keywords, it would hit every single member in order that's not already a friend of mine, okay? I'm gonna let this run since we're only doing five of these. And you see these are a little bit different, these messages, they're randomizing the greeting, they're randomizing the introduction segments within that group message, within that group, that message group. And see how easy this is. Now, I would let this run in the background. I wouldn't do, you know, a few seconds. I would do 10 minutes between requests and then just let this run in the background. And I can go to a movie. I can go on vacation with the family. And do you see up here where the friend connector button is? It says five. It keeps a track of how many are going. We only did five, so it turned itself off. Okay. And everything's still there. Now, if I hit run again, it's going to go and do another five. Um, and that's fine. Uh, if you want to stop in the middle, once it's running, this run button will become stop. I probably should have shown you that, but this will say stop while it's running. So if you decide, oh, I want to stop, I've had enough, you know, whatever, 
that's fine. So that's how you send the friend requests out. The messages were sent and the friend requests were sent to those people. Good targeted. I've targeted additionally with keywords, but you'll be targeted just being in the groups uh, perhaps that are your target market or your target audience that you want to network with or connect with. So that is how you do that. And that's it for this video. And I'll see you in another video.